This is the limited edition Mont Blanc Imperial Dragon Pencil, which was the most expensive pencil I was able to purchase online. Now, if you're wondering why I bought an $11,400 pencil, that takes us back to a series I did where I bought some of the most expensive pens and color pencils in the world. All right, here's a $11,000 pencil. Okay, so this is the pen box. We'll throw this to the side. Making sure the packaging is sturdy. Steve, <laughs> don't ruin our pencil. The packaging looks kind of old. Push it out over here. You want this? <laughs> As Steve pointed out already, there is a nice dragon logo on here. Mont Blanc. The art of writing. I think it's supposed to say limited edition over here, but it got ripped off. You want to open it up? Steve, that is not <laughs> how you unbox it. Let's pull it out. Ooh, like a book. Whoa, this is so weird. Do you guys see this? This is, what the? Hell? So over here, it says limited. All right, over here. It says Imperial Stop. Dragon. All right, over here it says limited edition. It looks kind of like a book. Whoa, what is that? What do you think this is? Was this made in 94? Right here it says February 28th, 1994. So I guess that's why the packaging looks so old. What do you think this is? A service card. Probably like some warranty card, right? You think Maybe. the warranty's up already? <laughs> All right, so we got a little manual over here. I'm pretty sure it's kind of useless. Apparently this was purchased 2019, but the actual pen is from 1994. Not leather or anything. Hey, like they say, never judge a book by its cover. The cover is pretty nice. Should you open it now? Yes. Three, two, one. Ooh, it's heavy. Whoa! <laughs> two? All right, we already knew there was two. Ooh, what do you think about the packaging? It's like nice and velvety. And there's this thing. <laughs> oh, can't pull it out. Oh. Why are you trying to yank it, dude? Oh, look at the dragon. One pencil, one pen. So technically they're like 5,500 each. Whoa, I'm this is thicker, unscrewing. I'm thicker than you. All right, this is unscrewing. Let's take a look at it. Oh, there's a dragon on the tip of this. Wait, I want to see. You're a pencil boy. <laughs> no, I want to see though. That's so fancy. Whoa, dude, if you look through here, you can Whoa. see through it. It has little red dragon. That's it's, insane. I wonder what it's made of. Apparently these are supposed to be some kind of gem. Meisterstuck edition? Probably butchering the pronunciation. You know how usually mechanical pencils you click like this? This, each time you want the let out, you just twist it a little, see? Twist it, it comes out a bit. That's inconvenient. You can't use it with one hand. Yeah, you can. If you're in the middle of a test, you just go. I think I missed. How much do you think each piece of lead costs? 10 cents. 20 cents. You don't think Mont Blanc would give us like $10 lead? Actually, it probably would. In the middle of a test and I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, three plus six. <sighs> oh. <laughs> now I would know. Nine. Dude, that stresses me it's, out. It's well balanced. <laughs> it's not well balanced, but it's still nice to spin. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Are there scratches on it? Dude, my hands are sweating. I think this is so old, the white part already started to yellow. Honestly, this one feels a lot more expensive than this. Don't snap it. Some shavings came off. That's $5. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but when I get a $10,000 pencil, I just have to spin it. So I challenge Steve to a pencil spinning competition. Best spin wins $1,000. Watch this. <laughs> it was so fast, <laughs> we just didn't see it. Ooh. And this is why you don't let your friends use your $10,000 pencils. Oh, dude! <laughs> dude! What? Are you doing this on purpose? No, no. I'm gonna try Dude! That. Dude, stop! You're doing this on purpose now! Your little baby. Are you trying to break it? No, I'm trying to get it to like spin like twice. Dude, I swear, if you drop it one more time. Do a big trick right now. That was hideous. Need do. Still didn't drop it, still didn't drop it. No, Steve! Steve! Oh, Steve. oh my god! <laughs> okay, cut the other ones, just show this one. So, after doing some more research, the reason the pen is so expensive is because the body is made out of a beautiful black resin. All the silver parts are made of 925 sterling silver. The dragon has real red rubies for eyes. And the nib of the pen is made out of 18 karat gold. And what makes this even cooler is that only 1,500 of these sets were ever made. You can see over here that this was number 1,139 out of 1,500. This imperial dragon pencil is a very rare collector's piece. So, in order to see how this pencil performs, we will be testing it side by side with a few other pencils. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are the pencils we're gonna be testing out side by side. We have a 10 cent pencil, we have a $10 pencil, and this is a $10,000 pencil. Let's make a line with each. 
Let's go ask Michelle if she can spot the difference. All right, Michelle, we're gonna do a little experiment. So here, I have three lines. Okay. Just by looking, you gotta uh, match them up. This might be this one. This one's 10 cents. This one's $10. This Ooh. one's $10,000. 